What's up, nerds? I'm Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Pokemon X Randomized Nuzlocke. And we're just jumping straight into the battle. Because I told you last time, I promised you that we would defeat all remaining trainers here and catch the legendary. Which, like, the nearer we, the nearer we get to it... Okay, against the Soul Rock, we're gonna go out into Esmeral. The nearer we get to that the more I think that I did not randomize Legendary to Legendary, which means the Legendary could be pretty much any Pokemon. Um, I think Surf... Oh, shit. Surf should do more. Because it's Stab and super effective. We're gonna switch out into Rainbow to take... The solar beam and then immediately switch out because this thing probably has some sort of rock type move because it would be strange if it didn't but that should do nothing that did four four damage okay you know what I think predator should be bulky enough to take pretty much anything this thing can throw at us and we are super effective right this oh yeah I was right, if we took that Stone Age, even if it was the crit. Okay, we're just gonna Shadow Sneak and see how much that does. Probably a two-hit KO from here on. Oh, wow. And it's using Heal Block, which is great, so I don't lose any more HP. And we Shadow Sneak again, cannot miss with that, and it's gone. That's awesome. And, oh wow. Predator grew to, uh, grew to level 48, and the thing is, I really, really need to stop leveling <laughs> Predator. Because I want to evolve it later on. Okay, wait, we haven't battled you? Yeah. I want to evolve it later on. But then again, it, it already has quite a decent, uh, quite a decent moveset, so it's not too bad, I think. Okay, um, Pumpkaboo. I mean, we are fully evolved. This is a Pumpkaboo. Even if it's, oh, well, it's 14 levels above us. I mean, technically, Rainbow would... Rainbow is the best. Switch in for that. I would like to use something else, but Ghost is super effective against Ghost. So if I used... If I switched into... Ghost type was added to Rainbow. Oh, interesting. Oh, Shadow Sneak, now we're super effective against us. I mean, it's still just a pump kaboo, but that dealt damage. And that's the thing, uh, if I switched out into... It's not Predator. Yeah, it's Predator. Then it would have been super effective from the start, though Trick or Treat would be useless. Doesn't really matter. Rambo Gross level 50 wants to learn to move Punishment? Isn't that... Oh no, Judgment was Arceus' thing. More... The target has powered up with stat changes the greater this move's power. Hum, I gotta look that up. Um, Pokemon... Punny... Where's the right button? Oh. Punishment. Ah, it's, it's really hard with a microphone right in front of you. What's the basic attack? 60 plus 20 per status upgrade. Let's let's say it like that. Okay, okay. And it is physical, right? Yes. 80, Thunderbolt is 90. I think I'm gonna get rid of extra sensory. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Because, I mean, Punishment only has 5 PP. That's a big drawback. But, uh, we're gonna stay in. And we're gonna use Punishment right away. But I'm not planning on using Rainbow too often. So, even with a weak move like that. Damn. Even with a weak move like that, we should... I don't know what I wanted to say, wait. Not with a weak move, but with a move with that little PP, we should still get around pretty well. 
And I think that's pretty alright. Also, like I said, it is physical, so it is better for us than a special uh, special move. So yeah, all in all, I think that's alright. But that also means that I think Renbo still has a take. Yeah, still had the mind plate. So we're gonna give it another thing. I mean, we could give it an amulet coin, but let's be honest, I really don't need that. Holo regains a little HP every time it inflicts damage to others. That's not bad. Accuracy will be boosted. Also not bad. Rocky helmet. Hmm. Um, target may also flinch. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. I mean, we could just boost fire type moves, but then again, oh, electric type moves. Also not bad. Or flying type moves. So we pretty much could could upgrade like upgrade one type of move but i think a king's rock actually fits this very well because now every attack has a chance to flinch and i don't think i have to tell you that flinches are pretty dang useful if you guys think we'll let you join team flare after all this you've got another thing coming did he say thing or think yeah i think he said think you have another think coming I'm guessing that's completely correct. It just sounds so incredibly strange. Wispy Quinn. I would love to stay in with Ampharos because I think with electric type attacks I could do pretty decent damage. But I'm gonna switch out into Crack because there is absolutely nothing this thing can do to us. And even if it could, we are sturdy. And we are quad... Uh, it is quad weak to us. That dealt more damage than I thought. But we're gonna try out oh my goodness if we hit this swaggered stone edge this thing is gonna get destroyed like i mean it, it's gonna die anyway but with a uh, swaggered up stone edge this thing gets destroyed like seven times at once uh let's go with a hyper potion just to be sure i could go for a full restore since i already have them but I'm gonna be honest, I pretty much only have the full restores for later for the gym. Uh, not the gym, for the Elite Four, if we ever come that far. But so far, like, we don't, we might not have the most interesting team and not the most, like, team changes. Oh, and it was a crit. So this thing, it, I, it probably could have taken out two at least uh, of the West We might not have the most original. Th oh, well. It is pretty original, the team, but we might not have the best team or the most interesting team, but we do have a really good team. And I really like it. I'm gonna heal up. Yeah, I'm once again gonna heal up Crack just for the sturdy. And now we're gonna see which Pokemon it is. Ow! So, I think... Xerneas, or at least this encounter, has a 100% catch rate. Though I am not quite sure. I, I know that's what you always hear. I'm just gonna look that up. Okay, um, there's a great cutscene. Xerneas is a really cool looking Pokemon. Although when I first saw it, I really didn't like it because there was just so much going on with this Pokemon. But I grew attached to its design pretty fast. Like, I really like it. I really like deers or... Um, it's not a deer, it's a buck, I think. Oh, it's a Yuxi! So I'm pretty sure I did switch uh, from, like... Legendary to Legendary. Um, still gonna switch out into Rainbow because special defense. And then I'm gonna try and just throw a ball. Because... Okay, it doesn't really matter. I don't plan on attacking it. 
The thing is... The catch rate I read is really high, at least with Xerneas. I don't know if it's just this encounter or Xerneas in general. Ah, oh, almost. That's because it is a mandatory catch, so even if I would defeat it or... I don't know about defeating it, but if I were to flee, I could just encounter it right again. So, you know what? Let's try a quick ball. It's still only the second turn. So, this should be way stronger than a Pokeball. One, two, three. No, okay. And also, I really like the look of the quick ball. Tell me you have something else than Yawn. I mean, you don't need to do big amounts of damage, really. Uh, that's not necessary. But I just really want to know if it has... Okay, Future Sight. That figure. I'm just gonna heal with a super potion. Because, well, that brings us almost up to full. And we know we can take a future sight even if it's from Yuxi, which I think is pre- Oh, damn it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to start attacking. Uh, a Thunderbolt shouldn't do too much if we ever wake up. And also has a chance to paralyze, which would make everything way easier. I don't know if I would use this Yuxi. Oh my goodness, that does nothing. It's a high possibility that I will never ever use this Yuxi, because it's by far not my favorite legendary. But I mean, I would have it. And that wouldn't be bad, right? So we'll see. Okay, yeah. We're gonna switch it up and go to fly. Yes, that does quite a lot more than our Thunderbolt. But Yuxi, if I remember correctly. And I don't want to look that up. Extrasensory? Okay. Yuxi is the bulkiest out of the three. Of the uh, Lake Trio, I think they're called. At least that's if I remember correctly. That Yuxi, with Yuxi being the bulkiest. And I mean, if not, if we defeat it, I, I think we can re-encounter, I don't know. Then again, I could just throw a Master Ball, but it's just... It doesn't feel like Yuxi is really worth it. It sounds a bit harsh, but like seriously, Yuxi for me is not really w worth a master, master Ball. A mas Master Ball. Its special defense won't go any higher. Which means we are ex completely free to click Thunderbolt, because, like, this does nothing. And has a chance to paralyze. Exosensory, and we take the future side, yeah. That doesn't do anything, like, really doesn't. Oh, that's my dog. <laughs> Thunderbolt. Xerneas is looking at Renegade. It seems like it wants to help. You know, an awesome thing would be if this was now something else. Like, if it re-randomized. That would be great. Um, it re-randomizes every time. It re-randomizes every time. I could, in theory. I won't do it. But in theory, I absolutely could just kill this thing as often as I want until I get the legendary that I want. That is... I'm gonna try punishment right out the gate. Like I said, I won't do it. I don't think this punishment will kill. Oh no, it, it won't at all. Okay, um, last Hyper Potion, I'm gonna use it now. If I have to, I'm gonna use the full restores because I have them. It's not like I limit myself to not using them, I just don't want to use them. So, like I said, I will not, I will not kill him as often as I can just to see what other legendaries are. I will now try to capture this. I'm gonna try again with the Pokeball, because, like I said, I don't know if the capture rate is this encounter or la uh, the Pokemon itself. One, okay. I'm gonna try with the uh, Ultra Balls. 
But technically, if I were to kill it, or if it were to use anything that hurts itself, that wouldn't matter. Ultra Ball. I don't have too many balls. And I mean, a Latios? I really don't mind. A Yuxi? Eh, but a Latios? La oh, wait, Latias, not Latios. Oh, come on. Wait, do I have any status move? I mean, with this, I still have Thunderbolt. Oh, come on. And I could Will-O-Wisp, but I really don't like the idea of a burnt Pokemon. Because that could kill it. And like I said, I, I just read Master Ball and I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, if... Yes, all right, all right. Paralyzed, and it doesn't have synchronize, which means I can just attack it again. And uh, oh, come on! This could take a while. Like, I could see myself using a master ball on Eladias. Not gonna lie, Eladias is paralyzed; it cannot move. That's good. I'm gonna use my last thunderbolt. And then I'm gonna just go for a capture attempt, although first I'm gonna heal with a super potion. Then I have some fresh waters, I just, this thing cannot kill me, we already established that. It's just like a crit wouldn't do us any good. Mm, do we have anything else? How much is a citrus berry? Can restore its own HP by a small amount. That's... I think it was like 30 or something. Can't really remember if that was true. Okay. Um, do we have anyone who takes Zen Headbutts better than Rainbow? Psycho Shift. Oh, no. Oh, come on. I'm still gonna go for a ball. Okay, this could take some time. This could pro... This is... Yeah, this is the rest of the episode. The episode won't end un unless I caught whatever... Um, whatever Pokemon this is. Uh, let's try a Luxury Ball. Like, if I'm all out of Pokeballs, of course I'm gonna use the Master Ball. Because it, this is a Legendary Pokemon. And one... Uh, oh, come on. Psycho Shift the thing back to you. I don't know if that's possible. Uh, one thought that went through my mind was how cool would it be to just reset as often as I can until I get a Lugia. Like ho -Oh and Lugia on the same team. That would just be amazing. But like I said, I'm... Special attack fail. Okay, special attack fail is pretty okay. Like, as, as stupid as that sounds, but I'm now stuck with the Ladias. Yeah, um... How would we do that? Okay, let's just check. Summary. Special defense 181. Yeah, nobody comes even close. So, I was thinking about switching in Predator, but no one comes even close to being as bulky as Rainbow. So, a Latias still is a really strong Pokemon. And he uses Recover again. I am very tempted. Incredibly tempted. To kill this Ladias. And just say I'm gonna capture the next encounter. Whatever it is. With a Master Ball. Though the problem... Okay. 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 It cannot Psycho Shift... On us again, I'm guessing, because it is uh, we are already paralyzed. Unless it can switch, I don't, I don't know. I don't really uh, know about the move, Psycho Shift. If it can switch, that would be awesome, because it being burned is worse than it being paralyzed. If it dies through burning, then I will just re-encounter and probably just, okay, probably just capture the next one with a Master Ball. Probably. Not even once, really. You know what? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna use the Master Ball on this 
If it dies, it dies. <laughs> and then I'm gonna capture the next one. The thing is, I really like Latias. Okay, well, it has recovered. That's... I should have thought about that. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna try one attack. One fly. Yes, I'm gonna try fly. Like I said, if it dies, it dies. We are paralyzed and cannot move. I cannot use fly right now. Yeah, now I could have used fly. <laughs> this freaking fight. Okay. Sacred fire. Shouldn't do anything. More than I thought. And I'm gonna predict a recover. Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna fly up. Hopefully not get paralyzed in mid-air. Okay, we got paralyzed on the ground, kinda. <sighs> okay, if we hit 22 minutes in this fight alone, then I will just use the Master Ball to capture it. We are currently at 21 minutes, so one more minute. If I somehow kill it, like with a critical hit right now, which I highly doubt. Then, alright, we're gonna try the next one. Paralyzed. You know what, okay, just... I'm gonna capture it with the Master Ball. It is Eladias. It is a freaking good Pokemon, not gonna lie. Let's use the Master Ball. There ain't no way I'm gonna sit around a few more minutes just to see what could be or if we could... We're just, we're just gonna get Eladias. We have Eladias on our team now. Maybe not on our team, though. Like, we have Eladias, but I really don't want two legendary Pokemon in my team. That's not high roll. It communicates using telepathy. Its body is covered in down that refracts light to make it invi invisible. It's covered in down. What the hell is down? Like, I know the word down itself, but what is down? I gotta look it up. Um... This is such a stupid name. This is such a stupid name. But it's Downy. <laughs> First name Robert. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. And <laughs> it has been transferred to the other side. Add Xerneas to your party from the box. No. Will not be added to the team. Great. Now they can't use the ultimate weapon. You're amazing, Ren. A legendary Pokemon wanting to be your friend like that. It's unbelievable. What a starting development. I would never would have I never would have thought you were really a chosen one. Oh boss fight. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't have any PP left. So this is the mighty Xerneas. I expected more from a Pokemon called a legend. You desire help from people. You need help from a human. What's going on with that outfit? Is that really you, Lysander? Oh whatever. What are you doing here? For me, victory is using the ultimate weapon. In order to do that, I need to reclaim the legendary Pokemon's power and send it to the to that weapon once again. I'll be taking the legendary Pokemon back now. This time, I won't lose. I, too, shall use the Mega Ring and Mega Stone that you researched during your travels. Which pretty much everyone has, but no one uses, and I just... And it's an important battle with six Pokemon. Ah, let's see. Okay, okay. That's a bad start. Archeops is a pretty strong Pokemon and it could very well get cracked down to sturdy range okay okay crunch do I risk it you know what I'm gonna heal with my last fresh water yes I'm gonna use the full restores in this fight it seems I'm just gonna scout it out if it has some kind of fighting type move I cannot stay in Crunch. Okay, okay. So I'll just assume it will crunch again and I'm gonna go for Stone Edge. Crunch again. Okay, that's good. Like, I want to set up stones, but this thing can be incredibly strong and we hit and that should kill it? Yeah, awesome. This thing is incredibly strong until you bring it down to half HP because then it's... Is it called Defeatist? And first, what's to learn? Power Jam. Awesome. 80, we got Thunderbolt, so Electro Ball, yeah, let's, let's get rid of Electro Ball. Thunderbolt is pretty much the best uh, electric type move without any 
like without having to rely on a single strategy like that was a really stupid sentence but i just i i didn't really lose my train of thought in between i just didn't know how to how to ex really say oh we are fully healed i just i didn't realize that <laughs> like if you if you uh play what's it called competitive then Volt Switch. Volt Switch is pretty much the best you can have. Froki, okay. W against the Froki, yes, I'm gonna switch in Crack just to set up stones. Uh, but Thunderbolt, okay. Volt Switch is amazing in competitive, but Thunderbolt is just all around a great move. It's not the strongest electric type move, but it's pretty much the most useful. Do I think if Froki can do anything? Does Froki learn Water Shuriken? I don't think so. I'm just gonna use one full restore, just to be sure. Then again, a Water Shuriken that would bring me down, would bring me down. Hydro Pump, okay? Just see how much that does. Way too much, way too much good thing I healed. Okay, that was a bad idea. I thought I could do it. I couldn't do it. It's Ampharos's Special defense, that's not a whole lot. Let's just switch out into Predator. Predator can pretty much take everything. I would really like to use someone else. A grass type, for example, if I had one. Or my electric type, but... Oh, come on. Transformed into the normal type. Come on. Um... I'm just gonna switch it to Azumarill. Because it is not a water type anymore, but then again, now it will use Hydro Pump, of course. Now it is a water type again. I mean, I could just switch into Rainbow and use Thunderbolt. That's probably the best thing I could do. Let's see if I return. Okay, this Froki is annoying, <laughs> not gonna lie. Oh, we're gonna switch into Rambo. Because if it's a flying type, we are super effective with a Thunderbolt. If it is a water type, we are super effective with a Thunderbolt. Uh, and we can break this up no matter what. And the only thing is if it would sub again and it's... Um... Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Hydro Pump, we avoid the attack. Which is amazing, but then again, we would have lived anyway. It is a Froki, we are Rainbow D Ho Oh. So, by the way, still hanging on to our first encounter ever. That's pretty awesome. Scizor. We're gonna stay in. I'm just, I'm not gonna take any chances in this battle. This is just way too far. Sacred Fire should kill because it is a bug steal. Yeah, quad effective. Just, just. Get out of here, please. Thanks. Baneary, we're gonna switch Pokemon. I mean, it doesn't really matter anymore if we set up rocks. Like, it only, he only has two Pokemon left, I think. Three at max, but I think it is two. Yeah, two. Now we're gonna switch out into Steve, because... As long as it doesn't have Ice Punch, we are good. And I don't think it learns Ice Punch by itself. And also, why would it have that? We are no longer levitating. We have limber, which means we cannot be paralyzed. Right? right? Superpower, just destroy it. I probably could have killed it with bulldoze as well. But I've just, like I said, not taking any chances. This is a big fight. One way or another. Wow, this is a longer episode than I thought or hoped for. But hey, Gligar. Switch Pokemon into Ampharos and then we're gonna switch out into something else Gliscor Gliger which is the evolved form okay Gliscor is the evolved form good thing of course I knew that <clears throat> okay it is th should not have anything to instant kill us sky uppercut oh wow yeah no not very effective. Yeah, awesome. We're gonna surf all over you. Sky Uppercut again, still not very effective. 
Even if it's a... What's it called? A crit that shouldn't do anything. Critical hit. Speaking of. We can live another Sky Uppercut. Even if it's a crit. I mean, if it was a crit, it would have been pretty close. Oh, well. No, crits don't do double damage anymore, right? They do one and a half. Something like that. And Tierno is again evil. So, wow. That's like plot twist. Oh. Um, know what I think? Even if there's only a little bit of something, it's still best to share it. Even you managed to use Mega Evolution. That's because Gyarados shared its power with you, didn't it? Not just Gyarados, but your other Pokemon too. You didn't even have a Gyarados. Why am I saying this? So the legendary Pokemon is gone, so you can't use the ultimate weapon anymore, right? You don't have to worry about the future all alone. Shouldn't everybody work together to make a beautiful world? Yeah, they should. That's that's the problem. They should. They won't do it. They should. <clears throat> if that were possible, all wars would have ended long ago. I can only see one future. One where selfish, foolish humans think about nothing other than themselves and steal more and more from one another. It's a tragic future. The original purpose of this device was to bring a Pokemon back to life. But the ancient king transformed it into the ultimate weapon. When the legendary Pokemon awakened, it took back much of its energy, its power that had been sent to the ultimate weapon. There's not much power left, but there is enough to use it once. Renegade, Sycamore's pupils, let us live forever. That's right, I shall grant you eternal life. I'll give you the pain of endlessly waiting for a beautiful world to finally be built. Renegade, Shauna, let's get out of here. That is actually cruel. Like, that is a really cruel thing to do. Because, like, I mean, it's it's common knowledge, or common sense, more or less, that eternal life just sounds good in theory, unless you actually think about what to what what it, that would mean. Bam! The Oxys? No, not the Oxys. <laughs> and the ultimate weapon is destroyed. Everyone in there is dead. We killed them all, no luck. But seriously, that would have that would be interesting. But where? Oh, by the way, now that we defeated Lysander, is Team Flare disbanded? If yes, why? Like their their plan itself failed. But their idea was to build a better future, so they could actually help people, whatever. Phew, I'm so glad you're all safe. I really respect the courage and kindness all of you showed. Thank you, we all got out in one piece. Are you guys all okay, Tierno? Yep, as you can see, we're doing great. Thanks for asking. We worked together to save the Pokemon connected to the stones on Route 10. I mostly left battling with Team Flair to Sina and Dexio, though. Who are these uh, Sina and Dexio you speak of? We are the masked heroes. Don't worry about it, Tierno. We're all doing the best we can, the best we could to stop Team Flare's plans. Oh, uh, we have a little bit of news for you all. We managed to destroy the machine in Lysander's lab that was spying on people's holocaster transmissions. Yeah, we don't have to deal with Team Flare anymore. Now I can't go back to filling up my Pokédex. So it's finally over, right? We came back to our adventure, right? Let's go back to Anistar City and start from over from where we left off. Like just like that, we. Just saved the world and pretty much all of mankind. That's higher stakes than previous Pokemon games. Whatever. Thanks, Ren. I respect you as a friend. That's why I want you to. Uh, that's why I want to beat you in a battle as your rival. Like, sure, I'll take you on any time. Mm. A long, long time ago. A very long time ago. That's a long episode. <laughs> The man made ultimate. We the man made an ultimate weapon. Using it required the life force of many Pokémon. The Pokémon granted eternal life learned this. The resurrected eternal Pokémon left the man's side. The man was surprised and sad. He had revived it so they could be together. Day after day passed, but they were never to meet. Eventually, he became a mere shell of a man. A man condemned to wander forever by the light of the weapon. And a Pokemon that also wanders eternally. Where is it now? What do I have to do to meet it? Ah, 
I'll say it once again. AC's story is amazing. They should have done way more with him. Anyway, my goodness, 35 minutes. Um, that was a very cram-packed episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye-bye!